you go. Like that. Now shoulder roll. That's it, right hand. That's it, that's it. Block it over here. That's it. When you block, go down a little bit. Yeah, now shoulder roll that. Boom. That's it. Shoulder roll. That's a block first. Beautiful, Keontae. That's a shoulder roll. Shoulder. Block. Shoulder. Good, shoulder. That's a muffle, shoulder. That's it, step back with a shoulder. That's it, block. Today we're gonna to start a video series on how to defend and counter a right hand. And I'm gonna show you a few examples today. And to demonstrate those examples, I'm gonna bring in my boxer, Keontae Irving, who was 2018 middleweight national Golden Glove champion and is 4-0 with four knockouts as a professional. So what we're working on, we were working on, if you watched a little earlier in our intro, is defending and countering the right hand. So the first way we were working on was blocking the right hand, just a basic block of the right hand and coming back with the right hand. So again, there's a lot of detail that more than people realize in these blocks and parries and the way you, de the way you defend and counter. So when I throw that right hand at him, he's got his stance where he's right here, especially as a taller guy, he's got his hands right where I want him. And he's be able to have a good, his hands are in his rib cages. This one's a little bit away from him. He's got a little bit of extended hand, okay? We're gonna go over that as well in another video on boxers that are taller, how they really wanna utilize and, and use their height and reach to its utmost. He's right there, okay, and he's got that hand at shoulder length and he can see everything that's going on. When, he, when I throw that right hand at him, he's not gonna necessarily raise that hand up that high. He is going to, again, like I said, he's going to close gaps by just picking it up a little bit, but he's gonna take himself and turtle down. See, while he's twisting at the same time to be able to twist and he's gonna throw that right hand. So when I throw that right hand, he blocks it and he twists and he's able to counter and throw that right hand. So that's the key. He's not gonna pick it up, like pick it up. Say he's not, I wanna be, he doesn't have to be there, see? So a guy can faint and go to his body. He wants to be able to keep that hand as connected to his rib cage as he can, okay? So when he, I throw that right hand, he's going to roll with it and he's gonna, he's gonna be looking on the inside of his glove with his left eye, with that one eye, he's looking on the inside of his glove, and that's about as high as that hand's gonna pick. It's gonna go from his shoulder right there, and then he's gonna kinda shrug down, and he's going to roll at the same time, and now he's able to throw the right hand and come back with a hook. So when he rolls with it, right hand and left hook. Beautiful. Right hand, that's it. That's it, so he could throw a jab, and then he could block, turn it right into a block. Right hand, left hook. See that? So jab, guy tries to come over the top with the right hand, he can block it just like that. Jab, block, just like that. Jab, beautiful. Good job. Okay, now, the second way that he can defend and counter that right hand is he could be in his stance, he could have vision, and he can make himself even longer and pull the guy into him with a shoulder roll, okay? All the great fighters in boxing have some version of the shoulder roll, in my opinion. Like I said, we've gone over a suck few that haven't used that. But the shoulder plane and the foundation of what I'm teaching on this channel, the majority of great fighters in, in, in history and in present have some version of that stance, and they have used the shoulder roll. So the shoulder roll defense is he's got that hand in position, and when I throw that right hand, He's gonna close that gap from between his shoulder and his chin with his shoulder, and he's gonna pull me in, okay? He's pulling me in more by using that shoulder roll, see? See, if he blocks, if he blocks the shot, okay, I'm not coming in as far. See, but when he uses that shoulder roll, he, I, I think, and this is why I'm gonna teach this in my instructional videos, I'm gonna show a special technique on how you can make your shoulder roll defense even more effective than always just being in a shoulder roll defense. One of the keys to it is this guy thinks this is where his range is at. See, he thinks that hand, the hand is there. That's where he feels like the range is at. That's where he feels like his head is at. But when he uses that shoulder roll, he's going to be able to pull even further back. See, so the guy can think, 
So when he throws the right hand, see, and, and Keontae even could take a baby step back if he wanted to off of a shoulder roll, and then come back with the right hand, come back with a hook. So when he throws that, when I throw that right hand, he's using that shoulder roll. That's it. If he doesn't even take a step back, still the roll is pulling the guy. See, now I'm right there. They hit me right. See, especially if I don't have a strong foundation and, and, I, and, I, and I lean with my punches, I'm going to lean right and roll right into the right hand. Boom. Okay. Even guys that don't have, they, they, when they're aggressive sometimes, overly aggressive, guys that use that shoulder roll are able to make those guys run into that right hand. See, so the shoulder roll's right there, right hand. Boom. Okay. Shoulder roll. There's the block. Let's do the block. So one's the block, right hand hook. The next one's the shoulder roll, right hand hook. See? So he's using a block. He's using a roll. That's it. If you see when I block, it stops me right here. Okay? Throw the right hand. It's just like the same, the same concept as if I'm hitting a heavy bag and someone pulls the heavy bag away from me. So now you're rolling the guy into the punch more because you're pulling, you're using your shoulder and you're rolling it right off your shoulder. So it's like a guy would be hitting a heavy bag and then all of a sudden the guy, someone pulls the heavy bag away and, they, and then you pull the guy into the punch. So the shoulder roll again is so the reverse the roll. Boom. Very good. Okay. So let's do one a couple in fast motion. Just throw the good strong right hand off the roll. Okay. Just the right hand. Yeah. Okay. Right hand. Right hand. Set. So if you see, he starts here and doesn't give away that he's using the shoulder roll. A lot of guys use, they're just always in that shoulder roll position. So your opponent, sometimes if you're always in that shoulder roll position, okay, he can, he can gauge his range better, okay? That's why Floyd Mayweather, as much as you see him in that shell, you'll see him do this, you'll see him do this, you'll see he, he gives guys different looks so that he doesn't just sit all the time in the roll, okay? Sometimes he brings the hand up, so he gives the guys different gauges on the range, okay? So they don't be able to just, if he's always just sitting here, then he's gonna be able to see that range a lot better, and the guy can start hitting the arm, okay? He can start turning that arm into a target, okay? He can start turning that shoulder into a target. When you put this hand here, you can't turn that shoulder into a target, you can't turn that hand to a and, uh, arm into a target. And he could be in that position and still use the shoulder roll. See, so he's, he could jab and shoulder roll off of it. Jab, shoulder roll, right hand, see? Or he could be just be in that stance. He could block the first one, throw the right hand hook. He could roll the next one, right hand hook, see? So one's a block, one's a roll. That's it, so let's just throw the right hand this time. Right hand, now shoulder roll, right hand. That's it. So you got right hand block. That's it. Right hand block. Shoulder roll block. That's it. Right hand block. Shoulder roll block. That's it. See? So he's got two variations of defending and counter that right hand with a block and a shoulder roll right from that position there. And all he's doing is just he's door open and what I call door open, door close. He's taking that, he's taking that left hand and the door's closed. So he could use it door close. He can just block and throw the right hand. He could block and throw the right hand, okay? Or he could take that right hand and try to roll you in a little closer. And like I said, for him, sometimes he'll take a little back step with it too, and he pulls you right in, and then he throws the right hand. And as he does it, it's just like a door hinge. When he throws the right hand, the, door, the hand comes back up, see? So he's in this position, and, he, and he, when he has the door closed, he can throw the block, right hand, okay? Or the door's gonna open, and the shoulder's gonna come up. So now here's, this is like an L, see? It's like an L formation. He's covering his body. That's the shoulder, that's the shell. That's the shoulder roll and the, or the Philly shell, okay? Guy, he's got this cover in his body. This, this hand's in here to deflect. He can deflect even a right hand. He can catch a jab. He can catch up with a shoulder. If I throw a hook, he's there, and he's back with the right hand. He's back with a hook. He's back with the right hand. He's rolling with the right hand. He's rolling with a hook. He's rolling with the right hand. He's rolling with a hook, okay? Or, like I said, then when he throws the punch, like I said, the punch was here at first, and, I, and I, he, he blocked it, so the door's closed. He could throw a right hand with the door, door closed. Now he can roll, door opens. See, it's just like a, a door hinge. Shoulder roll, he throws the right hand. When he throws the right hand, the hinge comes back. See, that's, a, that's something that we train, and we do, we do. We train to do that. See, it's, it's repetition. When he throws that right hand and blocks it, door's closed. 
right hand. So block it, right hand. Okay, now when he does his shoulder roll, door, door opens. Now door's gonna close when he throws the right hand. Now it comes back up, see? So why does he bring it back up to? Because what's gonna happen when he brings it back up? Throw the right hand. He's gonna be quicker to throw a left hook to your head. If he's down here, he's gotta come all the way here. So if he throws the right hand in the shoulder roll position and keeps the hand there, then he's gotta come all the way. He's gotta rotate that hand all the way from there, see? So when he rolls the shoulder roll and he throws the right hand, now he's gotta throw a hook, all, and the hook's gotta come all the way from there. It takes longer. The timing is not as good. So when you, when, you, when you train to use the shoulder roll and then to bring the hand back in place to throw the hook, you're gonna be quicker with the hook, okay? So that's, that's very, very, very uh, important to be able to develop that skill, okay? So it takes repetition, takes timing. So we're gonna work on uh, throwing a couple of those again when you throw the right hand, uh, shoulder roll, right hand, left hook. See, so his hook is right there. Shoulder roll, right hand, left hook. That's it. Shoulder roll, right hand, left hook. If he blocks it, he can throw a right hand, left hook in the same position. So he's not losing the position on his hook when he uses the shoulder roll. Some people just drop the left hand when they shoulder roll, and then they throw the right hand, and they got to come all the way here to throw the hook, okay? So that's, that's very important.